the madman. Good news. The run isn't dead. I figured out the weaknesses of this deck and how to fix them. And fortunately, we can fund this endeavor with the golden fires of Zinna's Shari. Earn this thing. What we needed this whole time was just a small change as Baba Naga is often not doing so well. But if it were instead the school teacher, then perhaps I would finally search up good Naga with the Crush Claw Enforcer. And this card is on the reward track, but I believe we will uh, hit Legend before we ever get this school teacher in the reward track. And then, the other thing, this Demonic Assault continues to disappoint. Uh, and a card that I fortunately coincidentally have, well, I guess it's a common, is Grimoire of Sacrifice. That'll save me against a lot of early game Demon Hunter token flooding decks, probably. Those two changes are all that was needed. Like, I actually had a moment where I was like, oh no, am I doing the right thing? Oh no, should I even run Phelan? Is Phelan causing this deck to fail? Should I run Jaraxxus? Should I run Curse of Agony? But no, this is fine. It's these small changes that are all that's necessary in order to make this deck great. Do I drain soul that thing to prevent the three drop from coming down? Yeah, that's probably best. That would also enable the crush claw. Alright, it's a new beginning for this deck. We've metamorphosed into something amazing. And I think I'm going to start taking the attitude of, if I'm not up against a control deck, uh, one Phelan is good enough. And I'll just have to get the value elsewhere, somehow. Just play this thing on four. Unless I had another play that was better, like School Teacher. This is fine. Save that coin. It's valuable. I could have sworn it went back together. We are going on a dangerous voyage. Oh, a fellow Phelan. Affectionado. I see. Alright, here it is. School to oh. Oh, I hadn't even considered that brand. Doubles teacher both ways. The Queen's so that's why they run brand teacher and control warrior. Oh. I have somehow never I should have killed the mech there. Oops. Eh not really. I'm sure they have a cheap mech. It's time to pray that they don't have an answer to Gigafin.
This is a good strategy. Because if they kill Gigafin, that is going to be a lot of damage. They got Shark in there, they got Double Automaton. I'm even pretty sure it goes in the order of Shark, Automaton, Automaton. Oh, dear god. Not all of them run Fire Emblem. Oh, it's in a different order. Okay. Oh no, it, it is in the same order. Wait, no, it was that was in a random order, right? I can't tell. It's the same order. Okay. Well, rip me. Unlucky that they happen to run the Fireball version. It's fine. It's fine, even if I am crying. I mean, I should at least dig for my entitled customer, I guess. Hmm. If I had gotten my unstable Shadow Blast on that, would I have not died? I think so. Womp womp me. Maybe. Hard to tell. Alright, well, isn't this jolly good? We got our man against the Demon Hunter. And we got our new card, School Teacher! School teacher is surely the key that will make me able to win. Uh huh. This is the card I was missing. Each scar, a foe vanquished. No coin! No coin! Oh! Kill it! Kill it! Oh, that's why no coin. Coin Drekthai. Oh no. It's okay. Right? Uh-oh. It's okay. The other card that's getting added to this deck, that got added to this deck, Grimoire of Sacrifice. Uh, finding its indirect addition here. I was unlucky. Uh, only, whatchamacallit, only one spell is offered with the school teacher. But still good, still good. The queen's is forbidden. I, see. I don't like Enzola this thing. Not that that's good here. What I really should play is something that will kill the Drek'thar, but there's no way of doing that. So therefore, Reno, while not an exciting play, is good enough. And this is a 4-6, which might interfere with Drek'thar. Some chance that Reno stays around to get Zolid.
Yeet. Each scar, a foe vanquished. Right now. Hmm. That's that's neat. Both fell barrages have been used. There's not that many ways. Great. You hesitate because he's got a treasure guard, which means if this dies. We'll get another card, but I guess you don't hesitate that long. Eaten. Two taunt? Seems reasonable. Or rather, I should play this thing while it's relatively quiet, I think. But copying this seems to be right. Because basically, a decision do I play Slime Skill Dav or do I play Guard? Probably better to play the guard next turn, because I think I can get away with that next turn. His prison and I, the jail, never stop searching. Oh, oh whoa. <laughs> okay. Apparently, I needed to play both. Oh. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh. That's fine. That was a uh, I played incorrectly game. Yes. My bad. My bad. That's fine. That's fine. That's right, I just sucked. It's not the deck that sucked. I sucked. Hey, that's old school. Da 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 Dun, da 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 dun, dun, dun. The Queen's troll is forbidden. I wonder. We're going on a dangerous voyage. You win. You are not welcome. Holy cow, it's all of the all of the cards that require synergy without any of the synergy. Not like this. Ooh, Grimoire of Sacrifice about to save me. Or I don't have to play it. Could just play Arena.
Opponents look significantly less expensive than mine. It's nice to be the person flaunting the money for once. <laughs> you wish you had this card. Where's your siphon soul now? Is this me except uh, two weeks ago? It is! You will. We are not the same, opponent. You have a bad Reno deck. I have a good Reno deck. We are not the same. Five, six, seven, 12, 13, 14 damage on the board. Maybe I can go for brand Reno. Or brand mutinous. Gangplank Diver. Oh! Oh my god! Also, law order. I should have played Twisting Nether. Wow, the full blown the full full blown evil with a Thalmus. And a uh, vicious slither spear. Now that's value. Dang. Uh, I hate that I have to do this. Why did I keep the Thanos alive? Did an extra three damage. Let's see it's not that big a deal. Take. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got three Colossi in the bottom. Those could get me healing. G gurgle! Okay, the bottom will become the bottom. So if I, I can just get rid of those Abyssal Curses. That's actually pretty funny. Don't worry about the bottom, it'll never happen. Yes. Thank you. Ooh.
going on a dangerous voyage. You in? This is not what we stood for. This is awesome. It is a mirror. I just wondered, do I need to push the envelope with Glug? And I feel like he doesn't have anything. But we'll do it. Oh, he might have drawn Giga Finn though. But that would just be unlucky. Uh, if it is Giga Finn, uh, I don't have a way to kill it, do I? Oh, that's right, I got customer. Alright. Yeah, I'm covered against Gigafin. Funnily enough, this matchup is winnable. You know, the funny thing is, it's extremely favored. <laughs> That's right, winnable by the hunter. It's not a lost cause for him. Th That's what you meant, right? It could win, it's possible. Face, eh? My face can absorb any amount of damage. I'm like a sponge. You will. I don't mind if I overdraw by one. I have all the cards I want. This is actually a little bit tricky. If the opponent is going for... It depends on whether or not the opponent's going for the burn. I believe the opponent will not, and they'll just do a decent amount of damage to me this turn, and I'll play the Reno, and then they lose. Hmm. 
No, maybe I won't play the arena this turn. Eh, whether or not I play it will depend. Why play that? What if you get another Gigafin? Well, maybe I wasn't thinking about that. Maybe in my blissful ignorance I forgot that could happen. I think I'll just burn a card, that's fine. I don't want to burn the other stuff. Okay, good. I got my extra Reno. I guess. Okay, we all had to start from somewhere. These things happen. Crap, the opponent's actually saving for Big Burst. I'll play Ravager. Pass is too light. Burn a card. Hopefully play a card. Hmm, awkward. Ugh, throw it away. I don't want to throw it away. It's worse than throwing it away. That's a good eat. I believe all the other minions are targeting a Spice Baker. I think this hunter has the right idea on how to do it. He needs to, um, basically... The first step is get me down to around somewhere between the 15 to 20 range. And then the second step is to use all of the spells at that time and not before. I don't know if he was just accidentally going for that, or if that's actually the plan. But it looked good. Who knows what secrets will out of the oven. Such 
once you see the spice bread bakers getting filled up in hand, I reckon you start realizing. But you're gonna need to use the stuff that doesn't? The stuff that isn't renewable. You have to save it all. He's doing a good job on that. In truth, the opponent is playing quite competently, other than perhaps the early part of missing a few damage here and there. That bread, yum yum yum. So playing that's actually a liability to me, so I guess I'll just play this and then pass. Tricky. Can I really run him out? I'm almost out of cards. I haven't had a hunter try to do this against me yet, but this is the way that I expected them to actually win. But I am holding a lot of healing still. Seven. That's exactly how much I need. They call me Fat Warlock. <laughs> Fat off of all this bread.
Oh, I should have played this first. Oops. Oh, crap. No, that's fine. Exactly as planned, I mean. Final volley. This mage apparently doesn't like paladins. A little bit of an original deck by the mage it looks like. I did it! Finally, Vilefin got the big Murloc. The queen's power is beyond your comprehension. It's not a mage, but there's some original choices, like the uh, like the Viper. <laughs> Never mind. I missed the easier explanation. That was just Naga Mage being played badly. Incorrect. The Queen's power is beyond your comprehension. Fresh out of the oven. Oh no, it's the hero power version. Don't I just lose? I do hate using this card like this, but I don't believe I'll need it. And it's mostly because my hand is too full. Vanilla card perhaps someday. Be really careful not to allow this to scale. Oh, that does three. Oh, that's fine. Stay where you are.
Okay. That's a Calicus. Huh. Interesting deck. I know he's got a deal two in his hand, so therefore I don't want to play any five health minions. And that deals three, so I don't want to play any three health minions. So I pass. I could tap if I wanted to. I think I have too many cards in hand. I pass! I pass. Someday, and then the mutinous will come and devour your soul. Let me remind you who you're dealing with. This is an interesting. That's cool. Drink with me. You've served your purpose. Now serve again. Okay, there's obviously going to be more dash in there. Which costs 8, 8, 12, 14. Would I be scared? I think I'm just barely out of range. It's scary to think that. Let me think. So basically, it's 10 plus this, which is 4, it's 14. And then with 2 mana, that could be a rune dorm. So I think his reach is 16, and I'm at 17. Okay, but that no longer costs zero, so now the now the burst is just a twelve max. Oh, that's right. The this. Oh no. The the. Oh, ten not eight. Right. I can take a... So the amount of burst he can actually do is uh. It's sixteen. Wait, that actually means it was eighteen before, and I miscalculated. Strangely enough, playing Gigafin seems to be a downside for me. Oh, 
Oh no, he did it. I still... Oh, I don't have my... I used my spice already. Okay, this now deals six, so everything under six health is safe. I didn't know you. That's I. I somehow have never tested that before. That's incredible. I didn't even know that's how it worked. Oh, that's that's real bad for me. Oh no. Huh. Well, we lost. I thought it put it onto the bottom and then, you know, drew cards. These finer details. The devil's in the details, as they say. What if the opponent is a free-to-play player who doesn't run more dash? Goodness. I hadn't even potentially considered that. But I think we lost to someone who doesn't even have more dash. Oh no. Figure it out one step at a time, I guess. I know my deck has no way of gaining back 8 health at this point. So the key was just to never allow that hero power to overkill anything, to honorably kill anything. That that is pretty tricky to pull off, though. Gul'dan versus Malfurion. I must protect the one. Your soul shall be mine. It's been a while since I faced off against Druid. Why is Druid so unpopular? I guess it's because they fold the demon hunters. None 
Whoa. You can't just do that. You don't just do that. You absolute madman. Why? And actually, no, I only had one left. It's a lot of airlocks in hand. I'd basically be betting on the card you just drew or the card you just covered being a minion. Possible, for sure. Mana Saber. Boo. I probably should have waited for Bran Mutinous. Oh no, I made him not mill! Oh no. Yes, I should have waited, I should have let him mill, blah 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 blah. Oh no. Why? Okay, he's only played two dragons so far. So we can we can still pull this off. I don't think Agony does anything. If I was wrong, let me know. It would just deal 6 damage. Brand the Agony. But I have to brand the uh, Mutinous. Pretty much always. And I think the key is to wait until he plays his 4th Dragon. His third dragon, and then I do it. Because we want to make sure the uh, Kazaka son is actually in the, his hand. Okay. Yeah. I'll do it this way. Nom 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 nom. Am I just missing? Or is it not there? 
the question. Okay, that's the third dragon. And these are all spells. I think I shouldn't go for it. But I have to admit that I'm not entirely sure. Okay, this would be the time to go for it. He thought he could play Kazaka's son, but he was wrong. He doesn't know! <laughs> Got the other one, yeah. Are you gonna clean that up? 